Hey you guys, it's Marcus here with Epic Life Gaming and I'm happy to be bringing you guys another Clash of Clans how-to video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your Barbarian King at level Town Hall 7. Um, I know I'm a Town Hall 8 right now, but I'm going to show you guys how I got mine at Town Hall 7. So it is a very easy concept, anybody can do it, and... Um, yeah, so let's get into it. First off, you're going to need your Dark Elixir Storage. So as you can see, I got mine right here in the middle. And you're going to want to protect it because you're going to want to be able to save 10,000 Dark Elixir to get it. Um, so you definitely want to protect your, you know, your Dark Elixir Storage as best as possible. And I suggest by doing that, by putting that in the middle where you would normally have your Town Hall. And another thing is, is you want to get your trophies up to a higher level than what you're used to. I suggest to 1600, 1800, and that is by farming, you can do, uh, or not by farming, but attacking, getting one star. You know, you can do the archer strategy that a lot of people do. And basically, yeah, you want to get your trophies up to a, as high as a level as possible. That way, people will not want to revenge you back to get their Dark Elixir back. That's first off and most important, because you don't want to lose what you gained. And also, you're going to be able to find easier Dark Elixir up the higher trophy range that you go. So, and this involves no gems, no nothing. I know a lot of people will save up their gems to get their Barbarian King which I do not recommend. Um, I don't think that it, as easy as it is to get the way that I'm going to show you, you will not need to spend the gems to get the Barbarian King. Instead, you can spend your gems on another builder. All right, you guys. So uh, let me see if there's anything else. So yeah. Another thing is, people want to wait till they get to Town Hall 8 but and to get your Dark Elixir Drill. But let me show you guys. This is a level 3 drill right here. And let me show you how much I get with it. I get 45 Dark Elixir an hour at 450 that I can hold. So every 10 hours I have to check my Dark Elixir drill and make sure I collect it all so that way it doesn't just stay full and not collect anymore. And that's a level three, that's not even level one. Um, so it's not a very efficient way. It's a nice thing to keep Dark Elixir always accumulating but it isn't sufficient enough to just get your Barbarian King. And plus you're going to get attacked. And it just, it isn't an easy way to get it. So just because you're a Town Hall 8 doesn't mean you're going to get it any easier. Alright, so now I'm going to show you actually how to get your Barbarian King and this attack strategy. So basically I have my farming strategy so that way if they have their drills on the outside that's easy to get. I can get their drills. And uh, yeah, so if I have to go through walls or anything. And archers are important too because I'm going to show you how to also gain trophies and not lose trophies like the other strategies that are out there that shows you. Um, and what you're going to need, this is the most important part, is three lightning spells. That is exactly what you need to get this dark elixir that I'm talking about. And you're going to want to gain, whoops, you're going to want to gain enough elixir to do this strategy. I would suggest about a million, more than a million at least, more than a million. I'm just showing you so I don't need as much as I'm telling you guys. But you're definitely, what you're going to basically be doing is trading your elixir for dark elixir. And we all know how easy elixir is to get. So they're always going to be putting their, you know, elixir storages on the outside. So don't worry about elixir. And if you are starting to run low, that's where our strategy with our army camp is going to help us get a little more dark elixir. 
All right. So, uh, whoops, this is my war that I'm just getting in. So I'm going to cut out, and I'm going to show you guys the kind of bases that you're going to want to get or going to want to find when you're up in the high trophy range to not lose trophies. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I finally found one, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So see how it has plenty of elixir, dark elixir? I would definitely recommend something high range, and then notice the town hall on the outside. So what we're going to do is drop a few archers on the outside, have them take out that town hall. And I noticed that a lot of this, I could take a lot of this loot too. So I'm going to drop three. Look at all that. I just grabbed about, what, 400 dark elixir right there. And then I'm just going to grab some extra loot to help me out. You don't have to do this part about it. You can just get this raid over with. That is very loud. You can just get this raid over with immediately. And look at that. You got some more Dark Elixir right there. So let's take that out. So we already got the one star, so we're not going to lose anything. Look at that. Almost 500 elixir in just one attack, you guys. So I think that's going to be about it. It's about all I need. And then end it now. 585, almost 600 elixir, you guys. So I spent this. What's that? I'll add it up really quick. And these are level 4. 20,000. So I spent 60,000 elixir to get 600 dark elixir. But I also managed to grab 3,700 um, elixir during that battle. So I only lost about 2,200 elixir. And in my eyes, trading 2,200 elixir for 600 dark elixir is not a bad trade. I mean, that is piece of cake in my eyes. Like, two, it, it's an easy trade. I don't even think twice about it. So what I'm going to do is trade up some more archers. You definitely... Wall breakers are very important. Um, you definitely... If, if all the troops, you definitely want to keep archers and uh, wall breakers. Those are two definite troops. But with the troop combination that I have, which... It, it works perfect. Flawlessly, as you see in that last battle. So I'm going to uh, train up some more lightning spells and I'll show you guys again about what you can do. And that is the strategy that I always use because 1500 is a little low. You definitely want to get to 1600 where people don't care about their dark elixir as much. You go up to 1800 and you'll find their dark elixir storage on the outside. I am not kidding you guys. They will literally just have it on the outside because they're a Town Hall 10. They got already almost all their upgrades done and they don't care about it. So why not the little guys jump, you know, jump up, attack as well as you can and get yourself up there and just practice a lot. You know, I have a farming strategy. Um, I have attacking strategy with the giant healers. If you guys want to look in my, you know, videos for that and just get up to 1800 and you'll get this no problem. Um, you can get up to there and you'll find easy raids to get your Dark Elixir to get your Barbarian King. Just right there with 600. I mean, 10 of those attacks, that's, what, 6,000 Dark Elixir? You, and you're more than halfway there in 10 attacks. So, it's. A, I'll show you guys another one after I'm done queuing up these troops and uh, spells. And I'll show you guys another one.
All right, you guys, and so I'm back here with another of the raid, 1700 Dark Elixir and the Town Hall on the outside. So this is super easy to find when you're in a higher range. This level 8 beat K Barbarian King is coming over to try to stop us from getting our one star, but that's why you make sure you bring enough archers to take that guy out. And that's why I bring this army comp. And look, at if I wanted to, I can get that 320,000 elixir. So I'm going to... And all you do is you're going to take your three lightning spells, go over to the dark elixir storage, and drop all three. Boom. There we go. I think that was almost like 700. Dark Elixir. And now I don't know where his drill is. There it is. Let's see what he, And then, so if they got a... When you're up in this high, they all... When you're up in this high of trophies, they all have Dark Elixir drills. And see, this guy obviously doesn't care too much about it. Alright, and there we go. It's that simple, you guys. And now we're going to exit out with the one star cap trophy 744 Dark Elixir. It's that easy, you guys. And two raids. Let's look at this. In, or, in two raids, this one and this one, I have gotten, what, 600... So about 13, almost 1,400 Dark Elixir in two raids. It's so simple, you guys. Anybody can do it. All right, you guys. Well, this is Marcus with Epic Life Gaming, and I'm out for Aretha's sake. Stay beautiful.